Hello everyone, this is the Arch Fiend, and it's time for more fun with YouTube closed captions. Now, WrestleMania is this Sunday, and I figured I would pick an appropriate video here to show you guys the butchered YouTube closed captions here. And that, of course, is my video from last year, almost to the day, of the review that I made for WrestleMania 25 or 25th anniversary, whatever the hell Vince McMahon wants you to call it. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and show you this here, and I want you guys at home to click that, you know, little button and turn on closed captioning for the video you're watching, because that always just adds to the, you know, epic lulls. Like, for instance, I'm going to say a phrase here that I guarantee you the, um, the closed caption is probably going to butcher. Um, the war in Iraq spread human aids to Osama bin Laden's asshole. Like, see, what did that say in closed captions? Maybe it got it right, because I've heard all those words said correctly. Um, well, actually, they weren't said correctly. They were said indirectly from other words um, that were said in a video. But anyways, um, let's get to it here. Let's zoom in here on Shawn Michaels crotch fittingly. And I'm going to start the video up here, and everyone enjoy WrestleMania 25 recap in YouTube closed captions. Have fun. Hello everyone, this is the Archfiend. I just got done watching WrestleMania 25, and yes I said 25 and not the 25th anniversary shit that Vinny Mac wants me to say. What is this, a goddamn pay-per-view wrestling event or a bullshit marriage? Anyway, I am here to give you my review of this show since I know so many of you are cheap bastards that cannot fork out 55 greenbacks to watch grown men of fake fights. Oops, did I say fake? Oh, yes I most certainly did. This shit is faker than a three dollars bill wrote a magic marker. As for the show itself, I can sum it up in one word. Horrible. Wait, what is a worse word than horrible? Well, whatever that word is, that's what this show was. Let's take a look at the many lowlights of the shit fest. The show started off with CM Punk winning the money in the bank ladder match. What a terrible concept for a match. There was no money won, which was probably because the dumbass is that booked this show didn't realize that banks are closed on Sunday. So they do the next best thing and give Mr. Punk a consolation prize which is in a briefcase. Wow. Another of many low points in the show came when the Hardy brothers fought each other. My god. If I want to see family members beat themselves up I will watch a run of cops on Jeep 4 or just punch myself in the face while looking in a mirror. I give their match a 1 out of a million stars rating. Next up we have JBL vs Heath Ledger. I mean, Rey Mysterio. Why was Rey dressed up as a dead actor anyway? Does he think he is a dead man himself? No, you aren't. The Undertaker already has the gimmick you pint sized shit stain. As for their match, Big Man Boots Guy lost to Little Mexican Man in about 30 seconds. The length of the match was the only redeeming point. Speaking of the dead man, that brings me to the lowest of low points in the entire show. The Undertaker vs. Shawn Michaels match was one of the worst matches in the history of modern civilization in the entire galaxy. Yes, it was that bad. At one point Undertaker forgot where he was and jumped straight off the edge of the ring as if he was diving into a swimming pool. What a dumbass. Then you have Shawn Michaels. Wow. He gave one of the most lazy, uninspired efforts ever. Zero energy and zero fun to be found in this match. I did not see who won as I had to make repeat trips to the bathroom to vomit. Hands down, this was the worst match of the show and quite possibly of all time. Other random shit that happened in the show goes as this. Hip Hop Guy won the title from Big Slow Guy. Sledgehammer Man defeated Mr. Tattoo Arms. And the bald redneck dude drove around like a three-year-old in his scooter while he done some what I will assume was a non-alcoholic beverage. That pretty much sums up the total shit factor of this show. But with all the back there was actually a few good points in this show. For starters, the WWE introduced a new diva that won the Mrs. WrestleMania tournament in her first match ever. Now that's how you make an impact. She was pretty damn hot too. And speaking of divas, this might feature the return of Sunny. WrestleMania usually has a surprise or two, but I was not expecting one of this magnitude. It's a shame that they did not promote her return to the WWE, as it would have set pay-per-view sales records. Boy, did Vince drop the ball on that one. Another high point of the show came when Chris Jericho defeated three men in a row and then proceeded to have one of the most epic boxing matches of all time against Mickey Rourke. Holy shit, that was awesome. Mickey landed one of the most brutal shots and I was surprised that they replayed it at all as the blow was so vicious that women and children could be heard screaming from all corners of the globe. 
That fight alone made me feel justified in spending $50 worth of my PayPal donations. As for the majority of the rest of the show, total garbage. So, to sum things up here I'd just like to say that if you are going to invest your hard-earned money for entertainment, then do not give it to the idiots at WWE. Tonight's pay-per-view proved that this is a company full of amateurs and husbands that could not even make a product that would entertain a retarded four-year-old that laughs at car accidents. Yeah. This company is shit, and I am amazed that Vinnie Mac did not just cancel this show before it even aired. I can't imagine there will ever be a WrestleMania again after this. Good riddance. And good night. Man, I'll tell you, YouTube never lets me down. But as I said in the video, good night everyone.